When I use the term codes of power, I'm foremost talking about the reality that culture informs everything that we do. And that most white people, because we live in a country where we see ourselves all the everywhere in every way, and our culture is validated everywhere and in every way, we don't understand how our cultural values are brought into the classroom. So when a white boy walks in the room, we understand him. We have similar cultural values. We understand how to behave, how to talk, how to respond to one another. If I'm a white woman and he's a white boy, he can see me as his mother. I can see him as my child. That positions him to know not only that he's right in the world, but that he deserves to feel comfortable and that he is really claiming his, play, his rightful place in the world to be a leader. A white boy who walks in the room and is animated and moving around and maybe even a little cheeky is smart. And isn't, isn't he smart? Isn't he cheeky? He's almost looked at as, well, boys will be boys. A child of a boy of color, especially an African-American boy who walks in the room exhibiting the same behavior, walks in and says, hmm, I might need to keep an eye on him. And that, I really believe, is our internalized racism, that we are afraid of these young boys. And I'm talking young boys, four years old and above. And that instead of the teacher looking at him or herself and saying, what is going on with me? That this same behavior uh, creates fear in me instead of admiration, we pathologize the boy of color.